I will call it Bethany's Strawberry Jam. Would you like that? Now, what do you want on your toast, Sarah? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, you've not had anything since you got here. You'll fade away. I'm OK. Lovey, you don't have to pretend you're OK here. How about Nana takes you to nursery? Then me and Mummy can carry on our chat. Cos I don't think she's quite told me everything yet. Have you seen her? I think I'll tell you. I need to know if she's OK. Do you? Haven't you done enough now? Made me pay for it. You think this is about making you pay? Why else would you tell Sarah? Try and ruin her life? That was down to you, Todd. So why did you have to go and make Sarah suffer as well? She deserved to know the truth. It's not the truth she knows. She knows how far her brother will push it when he's angry. The truth is, I made a mistake. I'm not gay. You think I'm angry at you because you're gay? That's not what yesterday was about. Todd, my landlord in Canada was gay. Half the people I knew out there were. I've had to disappoint a lot better blokes than you by telling them I'm straight and not interested. Well, what is that shock? It'd be a lot easier if you could just assume I was homophobic, wouldn't it? I don't care that you're into blokes, Todd. Fine, I'm not get into blokes. I care that you're into blokes and going out with my sister. Don't give me all this big brother stuff. If you cared about what you want to put through that, you'd have let me try and make it work. You don't get it, do you? Stop lying to yourself and stop lying to her. How many times? I love Sarah. And then let her get herself a straight boyfriend. Problem? No. Everything's fine. What was all that about? Don't worry, I'm sorting it. So, how long has it gone on then, this affair? It's not really an affair. Is that what he said? Not an affair, just sex. They didn't have sex. Well, what were it then? Kiss. A kiss? Does it matter how many? Well, no, of course not. Unless it makes you feel like this. All the times he said to me that he wants to be with me and Beth. Be a family. How can he say those things and then sneak off with they someone can't. else? Shh. This other girl, I can't imagine she's any prettier than you are. No. It can be the commitment he's running shy of because of our Bethany. He loves Bethany. She loves him. There aren't many lads who'd take on a girl and a child. If I had another chance, reckon I'd worked a lot harder to get our Neil to do the right thing, God rest his soul. Now that I've met my beautiful grandchild... Do you think I'm overreacting? No, lovey, not like that. Oh, lovey, look at you, you're exhausted. I bet you haven't slept a wink. How about you go and get a nice lie down and I'll have us a bit of dinner ready for later? Oh, I, I feel sick. Well, so it's like you don't have to eat it. Only I promise you, decisions are a lot harder when you've no sleep and no food inside you. Go on, lovey. Let me take care of you a bit, eh? Good. They've kept. Oh, <laughs> it's nearly time to go and get our Bethany. I, I could go and get her if you like, if you want to go and speak to young Todd. I don't know. Well, that's up to you. If you feel you're the one that's been let down. Why, who else is he let down? Himself. He hasn't said he wants this other girl. It's, uh, it's complicated. Well, life is when you're young. Mind you, it's not only the young that get betrayed. You mean with Neil's dad? Now you could teach him about betrayal after what he did. Running off with another woman. A woman? Oh, no. Oh, but I thought... A floozy. Mind you, it were more than a kiss that they had. Do you reckon you would have forgiven him a kiss? Sometimes when things come to try us, forgiveness and compassion can be hard to find. But we can only strive to do better and pray that we will. See... I don't think that I can forgive Todd. Maybe he doesn't deserve it. I just feel like I don't know him. The Todd I knew, he wouldn't do this. But he did. 
And maybe now's the time you get to know him proper. And if you don't like what you see, well, maybe it's not meant to be. Oh, it's just such a mess. Well, sometimes we think that things have fell apart when really we're pulling them apart by worrying at them. Sarah? Been looking all over for you. Where's Beth? She's safe. You okay? No. Sarah, I'm so, so... Don't so... start saying sorry again. It's not what I've come to hear. What can I say? How can I make it okay? I don't know if you can. That's what I've come to find out. Know why it happened? It's not good enough. If I could make any kind of sense out of it, it would have been bad enough if it had been another girl. That would have never happened. Why don't you fancy them? Because you're the only girl I've ever wanted. I'm committed to you, to us. Even if I did fancy another girl, I'd never put us at risk for it. But you would for a guy? For my brother? No, that's not the point. I was taken by surprise. It's easy to avoid mistakes you see coming. But there was just this moment and... I can't explain it. You've got to, because I don't understand. You don't have to understand. You've only got to forgive me. I can't. It's crashing my head. I thought that you could make me understand, but you can't. Sarah, I love you. I do now, and I did then. How can you love me and do this, or even want to? It's mad. I don't suddenly get the urge to snog Candice after a couple of drinks. He's just crazy. I know. But I can't be gay. How could I feel the way I do about you if I was? Whatever it was, it's out of my system. Just like that. You know when you stand on something really high? A cliff or something? And you freak. And it's not because you're scared you'll fall. It's because you're scared you'll jump. You'll do the one thing that'll destroy everything just because you can. Yeah, but you don't. Some people do. It's that moment in your head that... What would happen if... And then you look back at it and you think... What the hell was I thinking of? So what happens next time you're on this high cliff? I've gone off heights. I've gone off myself. There's only you I haven't gone off. And Bethany. There won't be any more mistakes, Sarah. Because I can see what I nearly lost. Nearly? Please, Sarah. Give me another chance. If I did. If. How would I know that you wouldn't do this to me again? Because I deserve to lose you. And I never, ever want that to happen. Please, Sarah. Don't let me throw everything away on one stupid mistake. You ever, ever put me through this again? No, Todd. I'm still angry with you. But you'll come back? God. I don't know what our Nick will say. I'll go and get Beth from Brenda's. Sir, I'm going to make this up to you. I promise. Everything's going to be the same as before. Exactly as before. <laughs>